here, I'm here to talk about the reality of recycling in Canada. We often think of recycling as the solution to our waste problem, when in reality, it's a bit more of a mirage. The simple yet disturbing fact is that only 9% of plastic waste gets recycled in Canada. We produce 3.3 million tons of plastic waste per year. That's equivalent to the weight of 33,000 blue whales. That's a lot of plastic waste. Of that waste, 86% ends up in the landfill. A small proportion gets incinerated, only that small amount of 9% gets recycled, and the rest becomes litter destined for our lakes and oceans. So why does so little of our plastic waste get recycled? Recycling depends on the quality of the material and if someone is there to buy it after the processing. So recycling can be contaminated by other materials such as compostable or biodegradable materials or by residue left over on the containers that you're throwing in the recycling. For example, one teaspoon of peanut butter can contaminate an entire ton of cardboard. Cost and time of these contaminations is what causes the recycling system to become less efficient and ultimately lead to less recycled materials. There are a few things we can do to try to help improve the recycling rates. Firstly, we can take the time to learn about what is accepted in our municipal recycling by going on our municipality's website. Second of all, we can ensure that all of our recycling is cleaned properly and dried off completely before putting it in the blue bin. This extra effort can make the difference in recycling rates and quality. So what are the main takeaways? It's important that we don't get disillusioned by recycling. It may seem like we're doing the right thing, but recycling is not the ultimate solution. With so much plastic waste and such low recycling rates, it's really important that we do more than just recycle. Look at it this way. If your bathtub was overflowing, you wouldn't reach for the mop before you turned off the tap. In the same way, we need to tackle the root cause of plastic waste. So we need to tackle our plastic consumption and ensure that it doesn't end up in the waste stream. You can go and read our blog post on the different steps you can take to reduce your plastic consumption, keeping recycling as the very last option. Thanks for watching and leave any suggestions you might have for more videos in the comments and I'll be back with more soon.